are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Tamara and I'm the last technology for Tennis Hotel and I'm the last manager of entertainment. Awesome. So, how did you get started in your position? Um, I was employed here many months ago as a marketing manager. Um, and then it all went from there. Just place got busy, started putting on entertainment, and yeah, all went up from there. And obviously, you like what you do, and yeah, I love it. And you love I'm it. Very passionate about the music industry. Yeah. So that's why we kind of got the whole thing started in the first place. And um, yeah. Okay. What drives you to keep doing it, though? Um, I think the main thing is the support from everyone. Mm. So basically, from the get go, everyone has just been so supportive. Like. You know, out on the floor Friday, Saturday night, people just come up and say, thank you so much for what you're doing. Oh, wow. Love it. And that kind of, for me, is the main thing. Yeah. Okay, like, you know, we're here to make money, obviously, but that is probably the main thing that keeps us going. It's just to see how much everyone loves it. People travel from, you know, we've had people from all on camera, the city, just to come here and see bands. And for them to go, thank you for what you're doing. It's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the pub. How long has it been around and... Um, so, Tattersons have been open for two years in November. Um, it was closed for six months after being Heritage Agency in Friction. Um, closed for six months, renovated, renamed, rebranded, uh, and new management. Yeah. Um, so, opened in November um, two years ago. And from there, um, we just kind of tried to change the direction. So, before it was a wild venue and had the dance mm. club and all that kind of stuff. Um, and Basically, we wanted to move past that, be family friendly, not to the DJ thing, yeah. um, or anything like that. So, yeah, in the start, we, can't, we weren't really sure where we were going to go with everything. We just wanted to be like a really, you know, family friendly kind of venue without all the, all the trouble. Mm. Um, and then the bands kind of came uh, maybe six months after we opened. Um, we were doing the cover stuff, and then the bands started. Um, Original stuff kind of came, and then yeah, from there it's just kind of been up and up for us. Was that your vision when you started, you know, working here? No, no. Not at all. Um, like I said, I was employed as marketing manager yeah. just for everything in general, not the entertainment, just the pub itself. Um, and then with um, the previous licensee that we had, um, it was kind of we decided one day what we were doing wasn't working, so we did like soloist duos on Friday, Saturday night, just covers. Um, no one ever came to it, which is what every other pub you know, does, every pub in Sydney does. Yeah. It's easy, you don't have to worry about it, but I wasn't bringing anyone in. No one to come here because, you know, you can see, you can see that anyway. So they're more like, well, what can we do? We don't want to do DJs, let's try originals. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it's kind of transition. So that was about September last year we started it. It's a bit of a transition between the covers and originals. And then, um, once we stuck to originals, it's every Friday and Saturday night uh, since then. And yeah, it was, it was hard in the start getting it up and getting it out there and getting it up and running and finding all the bands to play and getting the trust from all the agencies and all that kind of thing. But 10 months later, we're, yeah, doing really well. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. So you said you're really interested in the music, um, the Sydney music scene. Yeah. So what's your thoughts on the current state of the Sydney music scene and how it's going? And Well... I mean, it's a bit, um, a bit troubled at the moment, I think, you know, you see all the festivals that, you know, going broke. And yeah, Sandwave especially. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just, it's really disappointing because it's just like, you know, it used to be so big back in the day, it used to be a huge thing, and then it's like, all of a sudden, all these festivals are going broke, all the pubs are suddenly going to DJs, and yep. it's too much money to do originals or, or anything like that. It's just kind of disappointing to see, and I'm not really sure why, I think. You know, a lot of live music venues were broke. But I think if you manage it, I mean, we're not a live music venue. We're a pub, but we just do that Friday, Saturday night. So, yeah, I mean, overall it's kind of, you know, I think it went I think it's a little bit on the up, though, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, I've seen, since we started doing it, a few other places have started going to the original stuff every now and then, and maybe not as consistent as us, but um, a few venues are popping up in the city that are going down the original path. So it's just like, oh, okay, maybe maybe it is going to have a comeback. Yeah. So, we'll see. Hope, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, it's kind of a comeback. Yeah, it's, def- <laughs> it's definitely like something that's cool here. Yeah. And you don't expect it, which is awesome. Yeah, exactly. So, um, how can bands go about getting a gig? Do you reckon with you guys? Or? Um, 
basically just call me and send me an email and um, yeah. we go from there. So we do some nights, we do, well, we do full bands at night, every Friday, Saturday night, sometimes five. Um, sometimes we do just a, a, like a local night, sort of just all local bands, um, similar kind of genre, and we'll just put them on and we do that. Um, and then other nights we'll always do a big headliner from an agency and then the bands will support that. So it all depends, like someone, it all depends what the band wants really. If they contact me and say, oh, we want to, you know, we just want to go on the local night because, you know, we don't have a following or, you know, we're not quite confident, we haven't done many gigs, so I'll just come on that night, but then they might contact me and say, oh, can we support, you know, British New York or whatever. Yeah. And um, I, mean, I can never guarantee those supports because obviously everyone wants them. Yeah. Um, yep. But then I, you know, contact the agencies and, and try and get them support slots. So, yeah, I mean, we've done most most genres of music, so that's the hardest thing. Everyone will contact me and be like, I'm metal, put me on. And it's like, yep. okay, well... We don't do metal every, every weekend, yep. so we're on a metal gig, we'll try and get you on, or, you know, and then yep. we do, done every, we've done most things. Awesome. So, yeah, always keep here from new bands. Always. Yeah, well, that's fantastic, and you encourage bands to, you know, contact you and Yeah, we've and had heaps of bands that have never done a gig before, um, wow. and they come in and just go, like, we've got a pretty sweet sound and lighting set up, yep. and bands that have never done a gig before, they come in and just be like, Holy shit. <laughs> nice. So it's definitely a good first experience, I reckon, for a band yeah. that hasn't done a gig. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, yeah. I, I don't, like, we don't have, from a band's point of view, I'll, I don't think I've ever had negative feedback from, you know, the venue itself. Like our, you know, even when we have, um, you know, like the artist murder and um, stuff like that, you know, security are told, like, don't get in the pit, just let, let it go. <laughs> so, yep. and so many people are appreciative of things like that, they don't have security going, you know, yeah. stop what you're doing, just control yourself. So, all things like that, just make it, if you can kind of come here and just do your thing and yeah. we're never going to say no unless you're going to Yeah, that's awesome. I think that's important especially because live music there's that intimacy and there's that vibe yeah. there's that feeling you get from you know watching a band play other than like a DJ you don't yeah. get you don't get it something's missing yeah so it's cool that you know the security lets them do their thing and yeah well I mean the, the patrons that come here they're here for the music so a lot of them probably I mean some of them are but a lot of them probably aren't here because it's and you know yep. they're local but, you know they're coming here to see the bands to see a band or because they know that we do originals and that there's always Awesome. So, is that like a selection process? Like, if you're choosing bands to support a headliner? Um, it depends. Uh, it depends who it is. So, sometimes, because uh, I work with a lot of different agencies for, for the bigger bands, uh, sometimes the agency wants to pick them, sometimes the band wants to pick them, sometimes, you know, the band has got their own support. It, it's really dependent. So, yeah. um, most of the time, the agency will say, send us through who you want, and we'll approve, and that's kind of how it goes. Yep. Um, other times they'll send through a list of them, and go, you pick from that. Wow. Um, yeah, so it, it's very dependent, especially on the band. Um, most of them are pretty cruisy, they're not too, like, too set in who they want. Um, yeah, so... That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So obviously you've had a fair few bands play here. Yeah. Who's, or what is the coolest person, or people that you've met along the way? Most everyone, everyone that's played here has been amazing. Like all yeah. the bands that you know, such cool guys. We haven't run that many girls, <laughs> but um, oh, I don't even know. Um, I love the bands. Like we had um, some body guys here a couple weeks ago, um, and they get to just get crazy. And I love those bands like that. So I'm just trying to think who's the craziest we have. Like the Lazies, they're a oh, yep. crazy band. Um, when they're here, they're nuts. They get up on the bar, they get oh, wow. on the bar. Um, they're awesome, much guys. Um, just trying to think, I don't know. Any cool or standout moments that you've had here? Uh, they are just better. Yeah, because I was trying to get those guys here for months and months and months. Um, agency didn't think we were a kind of suitable venue for it. And I was like, come on, let's give us a shot. Um, Anyway, we got a, such an overwhelming response from booking that gig and it's free entry. So we, um, I ended up, first time ever, got crowd barriers, so like full fistful barriers. That's awesome. <laughs> and we had, I think we had 
Wow. Cats is 750, but yeah, 550 is made by Ariana. Nuts. Yeah. Thank God I had those sad batteries because the shit was crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> they're, they're metalcore or something, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so intense. And DJ, the lead singer, he kind of said that he um, didn't get the crowd too pumped. He knew, like, he was just like, oh, this Yeah, this, every, the tables would be broken. <laughs> Yeah, so we had like all the furniture, so when it's not going to be super busy, all the furniture gets moved down, it's just standing yep. room only, because otherwise no, like you can see, it's not That's right. that big, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, that will always be a standout moment, and I think the other one is Regurgitator, so they did their, that was one of our very first, well probably our first huge kind of name, yeah. um, and that was when we just started, so it was a miracle that it happened, and it was free entry, and it was their last show in Australia before they went um, on seas, like for, for a while anyway, they last show, and um, that was nuts. Like, well, that was nearly our biggest gig, we had to get her, you know, 600 here for it. Wow. But um, yeah, it was amazing to have them here. Yeah, yeah. At the very start of what we were doing, it was cool. So, what's coming up for you in the future? Is there anything coming up, especially, or working um, on things? Right at the moment, we're pushing our Thursday nights, which is hip hop. So, um, we're kind of wanted to do something on Thursday night and still be part of the whole um, original music thing. So it's not like, you know, we've got DJs, but it's more kind of a bit underground hip hop, more city hip hop. So that's kind of, we're trying to push that at the moment, see how that kind of gets a response. Yeah. Um, we've got Bone Hugs and Harmony coming up nice. um, in August, which is nuts. Nice. Um, so that'll be cool, as. And honestly, like now to the end of the year, it's like, you know, it starts to get warmer. Um, start coming out more and uh, festival season. So that's right. It's going to be such good bands that's coming right. through. Um, can't say too much, <laughs> but um, there'll be some good ones before the end of the year. That's fantastic. So where yeah. can where can people like catch up with what you're doing and find out what's coming up at um, Tattersalls? Our Facebook page is probably the um, best way. Um, yep. Where all, all our events are on there. Um, all the support bands and. Um, we update everything and we're on it consistently so if anyone writes anything or asks anything we're always on there um, responding to it um, so that's probably the best thing obviously our website as well um, but yeah social media we're on to all the time so yeah. yeah thanks so much for taking the time out no worries any final pleasure. thoughts before we wrap up no not at all um, thanks again for having me a pleasure anytime